This video is still on representation theory. We are still doing some revision to linear algebra. In this video, we revise the concept of determinant. So the determinant of a matrix A is, this is a well-known fact, so I'm going to be a bit fast here. Determinant of A is the sum, okay, of sigma and the symmetric n group so this will be the sine function a1 sigma 1 a n sigma n okay that's everybody knows how to if you have a um, a matrix like this so you know that you uh, you compute you multiply so you have to multiply this one by this one right the determinant will be 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3 just to give a quick example just to, to remind you so this is a, a the, the the definition of what the determinant is okay I'll just to remind you that the sine uh, function is a function where that its value is 1 if sigma is even and minus one if sigma is odd okay um, okay some key properties of the determinants they are very well known are these ones the determinant if the determinant of a is not zero this happens if and only if a is in the general linear group uh, with uh, dimension n by n with complex entries. The determinant of AB equals the determinant of A times the determinant of B, very well known fact too, and the determinant of the inverse matrix is the same as the inverse of the determinant of the matrix. It's also a well known fact that determinant of B of the, the PA P inverse equals the determinant of A. This is a very important fact. Okay, so we call this the, the commutator. So if T being T a transformation, right, um, or an operating operator or a map. If T is in the endomorphisms of a vector space uh, V, um, so we, we can choose a choose no, no we, we cannot we can find the um, or we can define we can define a determinant for a mapping. This is a bit odd. A determinant for a, a an operator, a determinant for a mapping. Well, yes, because if if T is one of the um, one of the mappings uh, in the the set of endomorphisms of the vector space, we choose a basis for V, so the the vector space. We choose a basis. I'm using this notation use a basis for B and uh, we can compute the determinant of the corresponding uh, matrix of T okay so th there will be a this transformation will be given by a, a matrix and we uh, can get the, the the determinant of that matrix Okay, and last concept for this video, the characteristic polynomial. So the characteristic polynomial of a linear operator, of a, a linear operator on a n-dimensional vector space V, is given by, by P of A X. Okay, so this is the characteristic polynomial. Um, it's very basic, this. You can just compute the determinant of x identity minus a. This is really easy. So this is a monic polynomial 
of degree n, according to the degree of the vector space, this will be a monic polynomial. Monic polynomial of degree n, n according to the vector space uh, v, and the roots of this uh, polynomial are precisely the eigenvalues of a. Right, the roots of this polynomial will be the eigenvalues of a. Um, next video we are going to see that the classical uh, Cayley-Hamilton uh, theorem is going to say that any linear operator is a zero of its own characteristic polynomial. But we will see that in a, uh, another video.